taught myself. Yeah, I taught myself. I was a trumpet player. I was a trumpet player in high school, and and, uh, and when I got out of high school, a friend of mine said, "Hey, you should you should play bass, and we could be like he played guitar. We could be like Hendrix. My other friend played drums. We could be like Hendrix." So I got a bass, and he left. <laughs> Ray Parker. <laughs> Well, he, he did a good thing for me. He, got, he recommended me for Steve. After two years, I've only been playing two years. Well, I, I, but, I mean, why the bass? I don't know. I picked it up and I went in the basement. I mean, you know, I thought I was going to be like Hendrix. <laughs> I a three-piece band. And then once I started playing, I started liking it. And, I, you know, I learned by, I taught myself, and I learned by ear. So when you learn by ear, you look for all different things, you know, and, and, and I had a correlation because I could read treble clef, and basically sometimes I still hit a, a C for an E. Oh, okay, but but anyway, but I had that correlation, and I had records, and I just stayed in the basement with everybody. I was I even worked at Ford's, okay, and uh, on the weekends I would go there and go in the basement, and everybody said, "Come on, go out." I said, "No, I'm I'm, I'm gonna learn how to play this bass," and that's what I did. James was my uh, total influence. I mean, I mean, what really surprised Steve when I first auditioned, I, I had a, man, I had a national base. You know what a national base is? Oh, well, you might know. A uh, national base is from Monkey, I mean, Montgomery, Montgomery Wards. And it was a cheap Japanese base. I had a national base and a national amp. So when I went to Steve, I went down, uh, went down and did, uh, went from 75 people to like 250,000 people at a push conference. conference. And, uh, and, and, and I think it was Memphis, Tennessee, or Nashville. Anyway, when I went backstage, he was surprised that I knew I was made to love her. And uh, because I, that, that was the first record that my niece gave me that I, I tried to learn. So he was, he, was a, he, but he, he, went, he brought me back to LA, the audition, get all the places. He said, man, he called Ray, and Ray called me and told me, he said, man, the guy's kind of young and kind of, yeah, but his bass sounds funny. <laughs> so I had to borrow Ray Parker's bass to do the addition. He had a fender. <laughs>